Yo, what's up guys? Um, a successful here, and um, I'm going to be switching it up today. Um, this is not going to be a progress video or a vlog. It's going to be um, a highly anticipated um, runecrafting guide. And um, it's just pretty much a basic method. And um, there's a few, there's actually a few requirements. And the minimum requirement is a uh, 44, 44... 44 rune crafting so you can make nature runes and um, this is a guide so that level 3's can make them without using um, nature rune tabs so yeah first on let's get started what you should wear um, you're gonna need a spottier cape of course because spottier cape and boots of lightness um, this makes you this makes you uh, really like you can run a lot so yeah and um, I just wear the Wicked Hood because it doesn't weigh anything, and I guess it's kind of cool. Um, you're going to need a lot of Ring of Duelings and some Amulet of Glories. That's just some basic stuff you're going to need. Here's my um, crafting tab. So what you're also, what you're really going to need is, um, first you're going to need, you're going you're gonna to need Amulet of Glories because when you're, if you're going to, if you're using pouches, when they break, um, you're going to want to teleport a drainer and run to the runecrafting guild real fast to repair your pouches. So, um, yeah. Um, you're going to want Ring of Duelings because you're going to teleport from the nature rune altar to the, to, um, castle wars so you can bank and stuff. And what you're going to use to, um, teleport to, um, to the nature rune altar. This is how everyone, like, this is how, like, everyone wants to know how you teleport there and craft the nature runes, you use these things called, uh, Thai Blue Wane Teleports. And, um, these are quite expensive, but don't worry, you will profit if, if you have a certain high enough rune crafting level. This is, um, 5.4k. 5 5 I think they buy in the GE for around 6 to 7k. But, uh, yeah, so... You're gonna have to buy them for a little overpriced, but um, you're st don't worry, you're still be you're still gonna be profiting. And um, so first of all, if you're 44 runecrafting and doing this guide, then um, you're going, you're you're either going to lose a very little money, or uh, maybe make a little money or break even. So yeah, if you're um, I don't know what runecrafting level, but whatever, like if you can use like the pouches, like the large and the medium pouches and stuff, then you're going to make, um, you're going to make a little money, and if you can use the giant pouches, the giant pouch, you're going to make a lot of money, you're going to be making up to 250k, um, GP per hour, and you're going to be making, um, 25k experience per hour, so this is one of, the, probably one of the best methods for, um, runecrafting, especially if you're a skiller, and you don't have to worry about dying or anything, and you're making loads of money, like, just from 75 to um, 99, you will make um, over 120 mil just for this, just from this method. So yeah, um, this is what a, I'm going to show you what a basic Anvo inventory looks like. You're going to always want to get a Thai blue Wane teleport, and if you don't have already a ring of dueling in here, so you can tally back. So what you so first of all, just um getting the essence in your pouches. This is the quickest way. Um, so hover over there, click. You're gonna wanna um go like this. Click on click. Have, make sure your pouches are in this setup right here. It's because it just it helps a lot in the long run. So what you do is um right click over that, do fill, and do this real fast. If you, if you saw what I did, I just right clicked left clicked, right click, left click, real fast. So that so then it should so that's like real fast. And then you're gonna wanna do this. So then all of them in there. And then just get this and then that should be that's what your inventory should look like. So now so now you're gonna use the pouch or not the pouch, the teleport. And see where you are right you're right here. Now Oops, uh, no, don't do that. Alright, just run over here. And just keep on running. It's like a 10 second run. It's not too bad. And sometimes there will be little villagers over there because there's a quest that goes on. It has like tribal men and stuff and they'll attack you. 
But yeah, so anyways, just make sure you're running this this route. Like, you'll see the mine right here. And you'll just run right through the mine. And there's little snakes that'll attack you on the way, but they don't hit much and they don't poison you. But make sure you run that route, because if you go, like, a little to the right, there's things that can poison you, and it sucks when you lose your pouches. So, right, just craft the nature runes, then go to the bottom pouch. See where it says empty? Do the same thing as you did for banking, so... Oop. Um, left click, right click. Or right click, left click, and then do the same thing. So, it's so real fast. I'll just show you that again. So, right click, left click, right click, left click. So, it's real fast. They come out real fast. So you should right click and right click, then hit the altar, then when you're done making them, do this, just, do, just, yeah, just empty for medium pouch, and look, 75 runes per run, so, um, that's like almost 20k per run, and the teleports only cost like 7k at max, so you're at, see, you're still making quite a bit of money, and plus all the essence and stuff, you average about making, um, you make over, hold on, you make around over, you make over, um, 8k per inventory. And then you just want to tally back to Castle Wars. Just tally back to Castle Wars, and repeat. So, boom, teleport, essence, fill, essence fill there and I'll just do another run real quick just to show you what it looks like actually I'll do two more runs just yeah and then I'm all, so after I do these runs I'm gonna show you um a really um your pouches will degrade but I'm gonna show you the best method um so you're still getting good experience and just so you're still getting good experience and like yeah but um, doing this method, see I'm only 75 room crafting. Um, doing this method at 75 room crafting, you're um, promised to make um, 700. No, um, you're promised to make 250k experience per hour and get um, 25k room crafting experience an hour. Um, I don't know what the what levels quite are at lower levels, but it's still um, pretty decent, and you can make money as long as you ha you can still make money as long as you have like these pouches with you. So, this is this this method's really um worth doing, and it's not hard at all, and it's actually not that boring. Like, you like I've been runecrafting for like hours, you know. But um, see, I you can make about 2.5k nature runes an hour with all the pouches. Um, I don't use a small pouch because I don't really know if it's worth it, but um, it may be. So you know, whatever. I'm just gonna show you another run just real quick and then I'm going to show you the most efficient way to um, restore your pouches and everything so yeah and this is um see this is like if you're higher combat like and you have summoning and all like all these like all the combat stats and you're like a main then um the spirit grokking method's a lot better than this method but this is mostly for like 10 HP or like skillers, low levels that can't do the other methods. Um, this method is a lot. I think that personally, the experience is not as good as ZMI. But um, and I don't know about the money you get at ZMI, but I'm just glad because you don't have to worry about dying. And this is just like a lot easier. And um, laws are a better money making. The runecrafting laws are a better money making guide than this. But um you're getting, this is a lot better um, experience per hour, this is laws, you get around 15k experience per hour, this method you get around 25k, just at level 75, so, alright, now I'm going to teach you, like when your pouches are degrading, um, see, what happens is your giant pouch will degrade, like, every, like, 5 to 10k experience you get, that will degrade, don't worry, don't, don't fix it right away, what you want to do is wait till your large pouch degrades too, which I don't know when it does, I don't know the specific time, but when they both degrade, you're going to want to use your amulet of glory, tell it, tell you to drain your village, and what you want to do is drop your medium pouch, because um, when you talk to Korvac in the recrafting guild, 
he gives you the medium pouch for free, and there's no point in keeping the medium pouch because it'll degrade. So, like, you don't know when it's going to degrade, so it's better just to get a new fresh one. So this, so in this case, this is the best um, method to do because all your um, guild, all your um, pouches will be like fresh. Like, so this is definitely the best best way to do this. And um, that's why you're supposed to keep your money in the new um, money pouch you got. So yeah guys, um, I hope this method helped. Um, this is probably one of the most efficient ways and I probably shouldn't have um, said anything about this guide because now the prices of um, nature runes might have go down or something or maybe um, the telly prices might go up a lot, but, um, yeah, so, and then you, my pouches are already repaired, but, so when they're, like, not repaired, you go there and just get the new ones, so, yeah, um, anyways, at 91, or 75 runecrafting, you're guaranteed to make at least 250k, um, GP per hour, and about 25k, um, experience per hour, and, of course, that, like, it matters if you're focused or not. Um, higher runecrafting level, obviously you make get more experience per hour and more money because with the runecrafting, like runecrafting, um, there's like a new update where you don't you runecraft more runes like than you have essence. So like yeah, um, and I also figured out that um, at 91 runecrafting when you can double make double nats in doing this method, um. You still get around. You can. You still get the same experience per hour, but um, the GP out. The GP per hour is is 600k per hour because you're making double the nature runes. So yeah, I hope this method helps. Um, just a quick little method, and I know a lot of you guys wanted to see this, and I hope I explained everything well in depth. So yeah, think. Um, please subscribe. Um. And look out for uh, more guides, progress videos, and vlogs. So, yeah, anyways, guys, it's successful. And thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Bye.